do Robin's jeans. Remember when Robin jeans were so popular? I don't even know if that's still a thing. I remember like there was one year in high school where somebody had a pair of Robin jeans and you could tell nobody anything. The boutique is pretty with the blue. They have an AG denim store. They have a Kate Spade store. Super cute. And I don't know who's checking for St. John nowadays. They have a Maj, Mij, Sandro, and they're actually the same company. So they're probably, probably managed by one. Go into Neiman Marcus next. Let's go over there and see what's up. But so far, I do like my time here at the Galleria. A lot of cute stuff. I don't know where I'm at. I don't know where I'm going. I think we're going to go to Neiman Marcus. So straight ahead. The beers here, which is a jewelry store. There used to be one at, at North Park Center, but they closed it because it didn't do well. And I don't know if you noticed, we also don't have a Bulgari store in Dallas anymore. They took it out. There's an MCM boutique, but D Beers, they have one here. But like I said, there used to be one in Dallas, but there's not one anymore. There's a lot of stores that are here that used to be in Dallas. Oh, it's for Louis Vuitton. Rafforn boutique, a Sephora boutique. This is kind of like a old, like the colors look more kind of like older school. Oh my God, this Golden Goose store is gorgeous. Parece como una lavanderia. I think it looked like one of the stores in LA. See, it's like una lavanderia, so cute. Burberry, but there's like a huge line at Louis Vuitton, which is absolutely insane. The main part of the gallery where people go to. I'm gonna go into Tory Burch and just gonna look around and see what they have. See, this is the one. Okay, you'll see, probably see my Tory Burch video by the time it's uploaded, but like, look at this. I do like it. It's still in This one's super cute too. I actually, I actually kind of like this little one person. I would probably not get the big one, but the small one is super important. She swayed it blind. And it has feet at the bottom. Super cute. <sighs> Love the white with this kind of tanny color. And they also have it in the big one as well. the biggest fan of that print though and I don't like that on the Migrato. Gesso, I believe it's called the Gesso Lover. So this is the one that I saw online. Now that I saw it in person I actually don't like it. I kind of like the classic one that they always had. I believe it's 328. Yeah. The Gesso. I prefer the Gesso this one. Yes. Yeah I like I like that one more than the super super pointed one in my opinion. I think it looks a lot better. And they have these square ones. And I feel like they, they're very kind of now. They have those little teeth stitched in boss in them. Well, I haven't seen this one online. This one's cute. This one is a little moment. I do like this one though. It's the bonita I saw. like those boots that they have. I love this tote. Like look at all the color detail. It has like orange, blue, it has a pouch on the inside. It's not like toy birch. I do like that pair of tote and it's like a really XXL size and they also have it in the smaller size. I do like that one. We have some shoes. 
all these house sneakers. They have the navy. They have these ones with fun laces on them. It's oh, I should do that with mine. I should get, I should get some fun laces on mine to bring the white out a little bit more and make the laces kind of have a conversation. They can kind of pop out a little bit more. And here's the new Toy Birch Miller sandals that are coming out on the 14th on the website. I believe they're called the Cloud. Miller Cloud. I'll probably be buying one on the 14th. Um, beautiful black. Yep, this color. And then this, the classic one. I think I'm gonna get the all white one. Yeah, my mom's a big fan of this one. I think she's gonna get this one for herself. It's like a good everyday sandal. And if you feel, they kind of change the bedding on the shoes, so they're like a lot more softer now. So they, you can wear them even more. Little stitching on the Toy Bird shoes like that. Looks super elevated. New Year's stuff. Oh, I love the chain with that. Look at this little one. This is like $500. And they also have them in like little shoes. There's the cloud one in white. This is the one that I didn't want. They're the old white cloud ones. And here's the other colors that they come in in the kind of the iconic Miller sandals and all these colorways that they have. I wish I did this one in the yellow and yellow and other colors. I like this blue one. I like this kind of tweed one. Monogram collection, I did like it, but I feel like instead of getting like the full canvas one, I'm gonna get the embossed one. So they have like this one, like this navy one in the small bucket bag. I feel like that's what I'm gonna get. Um, but I do like it, like the embossed bucket bag in navy, which is this one right here. I feel like that one's gonna be the one that I'm gonna be adding. But yeah, let's go ahead and go to the other store and see what they have. Gucci store as well. I don't think I could ever wait in line at a Gucci store. The boutique's really pretty. But I don't think I could ever, ever wait. Uh, it was very hard to film in there, but they closed down the Max Mara store. Oh, they have a Christian Louboutin store. Really pretty store. Love, love, love. One client at a time, that's crazy. And they have a Balenciaga store. Really all the little designer boutiques in here. They have a Wolford that used to be in Dallas. They have a St. Laurent store. They have a Celine store, the Tom Ford. And this is like not accurate tune to this is like straight accurate. A Laura Laura Piana. A Fendi. But let's go ahead and go into Neiman Marcus. Oh my god, there's a big line to go into Chanel. That's crazy. I don't think I can wait in line to go into Chanel. But let's go ahead and go to Neiman Marcus to see what we can find. Go into Neiman Marcus. I kind of like to work my way up and then down just because they're less likely like knock on wood like literally knock on wood they're like less likely to tell me something about filming more on the upper levels because they're mostly focused on the down levels which is really pretty super cute white silk This Troy Birch fixture is really pretty. It's gorgeous. And this dress on the mannequin, it's Troy Birch, is absolutely stunning. In love with it. Look at the button, super cute. Anna, Ethro. I will say their designer clothing here is definitely very um, spread out. At North Park, it's very congested. Well, I feel like North Park in general. I feel like everything is super congested and super edited just because of the lack of space. But this like mall is like, humongous. They have everything. They have an Escada boutique. Oh my god, they have a Zimmerman. Like look at this Zimmerman outfit, amigas. A bunch of like fine dresses. Super cute. Love it. And they have a Celine ready to wear. I have not seen Celine ready to wear. Look at these pretty bags. Love this. Love that. Celine denim. It's still like really lit in here. But Celine makes really pretty ready to wear. Let's give it a yes or no. This is a yes. This is a yes. 
this is a yes, especially with all the details right here. The jeans are a yes. This is a yes. Mm, this is a no. Yes. No. Yes. 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 And yes. Oh, and especially this printed one right here too. Super cute. Celine makes really pretty ready to wear. We need that for the thumbnail, we love that. Seen a boutique, a Tom Ford boutique. I have not seen a woman's Tom Ford boutique inside Neiman Marcus. Absolutely gorgeous, without a doubt. Come on, blazer, definitely something that I want to add. And look at this, the plaid, I'm here for it. And I'm here for all these little Balmain pieces. They don't have a lot, but I'm here for all of them. It's a red one. Oh, and then there's a men's store. So it's actually four levels. And there's a Van Cleef here. And it seems that they have a Chanel fine jewelry as well. They have everything here. This, this Neiman Market is well stocked. No wonder everything is super spread out. Everything is super beautiful. I love the purple color. was a Prada or a Gucci boutique and they have a Chanel boutique inside of here Let's see what sneakers they have because I know they've always built in and out of shoes. So have these ones, pink ones, those. Say Dior makes some beautiful shoes. I think I like their footwear more than the handbags themselves. And these store have all the new Valentino shoes in there and handbags. They literally have everything. They have a Louis Vuitton, they have a Chanel, they have Sin Rev. Like their handbag selection was 100% impeccable. Their footwear selection, 100% impeccable. I really, really liked their selection. I think it was really, really great. It has, the mall has some parts of the mall where it's like kind of like dead. It's like when you're kind of walking through to all three other department stores, it feels kind of like you're at a train station. I don't know, it feels like it has its high pickup moments. And then it kind of has its low moments here as well. So it kind of has like a little bit of its highs and a little bit of it below. I am here for this coach boutique. Look, it literally looks like a coach store inside the kitchen galleria. Love you, Tabby. Love you. 
I love all my coach children equally. I saw this blogger uh, style this handbag and I never thought I would actually like get a handbag like this, but I actually really like the way she styled it. It looks something like my mom would wear, but she's, she was like, I think 21, a little older than me, you're older than me, and she styled it very well. So you can style anything, you can make any and everything work. Dive in the monogram. So they do have really pretty coach bags. They have all the little Hudsons, the square ones, the puffy one, Coach Cassie. I got like two DMs telling you guys that the Coach Cassie is getting discontinued. Um, if any guys know that, can confirm or deny that, definitely let me know down below. They have some fun little Coach sale bags. The, I believe the Jennifer Lopez bag is now on sale. I believe. They have this one, that one. They have a tabby on sale. And she is. 237 a few more here that one with the chain but you know as much as i love shopping at regular malls girl you know i love me a little good norton rack a little good tj a little good marshalls like that's like my team but i shop everywhere i'll buy something full price but then i'll also buy you know things that are like a couple of dollars you know what i mean i, I love a little bit of designer contemporary a little bit of everything that's always kind of been a lot of saint john Kind of like their designer clothes section. I saw downstairs that they had quite a bit of handbags. And then for designer sale, they only have Lafayette, but they only carry Lafayette St. John, which is typical. Then they have, oh, they have Burberry ready to wear. Well, that's exciting. I didn't know that they carried Burberry. This coat's really pretty. I like this, I like this coat. I like everything Burberry. This reminds me of something that one of the city girls would wear. Or maybe she already has. Carisha, I think she wore that. Or she wore the bralette with the leggings. But super, super cute. The coat, oh my God, they also carry Balmain here. Some Balmain. I, it said that there was like a Balmain store and a Loewe store here, but I didn't know where that was. I, might, I think I skipped a couple of stores. I got really confused. This reminds me of Ricardo Tishy for Givenchy and same the Bambi. So a lot of it does remind me of like Ricardo Tishy from that era. But I do really like this Balmain. I didn't know that Norton carried Balmain in store. Well, at least this location. Oh my god, they have Amina Miladi. Hey guys, I am now at the hotel. Um, and yeah, I just got a pretty casual room. This is it. I like the couch, whatever. You know, I'm about to shower and about to hit TJ Maxx in Orchard Rock. And I'm about to probably have like a dinner and see what else I kind of want to do. But this is my view. It's bonito. Bedding. I was like sitting there for like 10 minutes. It is 3.58 currently. And so, yeah. Um, this is the little closet that's in here. Nothing special. I usually don't really touch the doors or anything. I don't like to put anything. Normally, if it's just myself, like, I'll put the luggage here. And I'll have everything open. Everything that I have is here. And then whatever I use in the restroom. So, I don't, nothing goes missing. I know where everything is at. And then this is the restroom. Oh, I actually kind of like the lighting in here. It's so bonito. I really like this jacket. This one's part of the Rent the Runway subscription. It's the Esta Mi Monita. I don't know if I'd buy it. It's 10% off if I buy it from Rent the Runway, but at the Veronica Beard website, I checked and it's like 30% off. If this goes for maybe like $200, let me cop it, but I don't want, the retail on this is seven, so I don't want to pay anything over two uh, for this one, just because I won't get a lot, a lot of wear out of. Tal brought with me, so let me put everything in here, guys. So, para que miras todo right there so perfectly, so I love that. I'm traveling in my Barefoot Dreams blanket. I love my Barefoot Dreams blanket. It always kind of goes with me. It's going to be kind of my new staple. And then here's the shopping bag of the things that I purchased. Um, and yeah, I didn't really buy a lot because I don't know if I'm going to buy anything at the outlet. So I didn't want to like spend, you know, budget everything. But I did get these. I have been wanting this for such a long time. The Byredo Bibliotech hand cream. And then I got the Rose... Uh, rinse free so that's a little like fancy gift that i get myself that's like not something i normally buy but i do really like it I'm kind of packed i didn't really pack a whole whole lot just because i mean i'm literally leaving tomorrow 
Um, so I have my sweaty Betty outfit. So I have the sweatshirt. So I'm not going to be wearing Lululemon anymore. I think I already said that. I'm only going to be buying... I will still wear what I have, but I won't go out of my way to buy it. So I have bought this sweaty Betty set on Sunday. And I really like it. I have my laptop here. Uh, and the chargers in the handbag. And then I'll kind of give you like a rundown of some outfits that I'm planning to wear. So I only brought that. And I brought my Jody here. I, this is my... Dagnit over a little cosmetic bag. It has literally everything. It has like shampoo, hairspray, fragrance, a Knicks full liter, deodorant, toothbrush, and the toothpaste is actually my bag. I forgot because I was running late. I almost forgot it. I have this Curology cleanser, Curology moisturizer, Rastrio. I, I just literally put everything on. So I'm gonna put that in the restroom. But I know a lot of you guys are very curious about how I pack. It was very casual, like I said. This is what I'll probably wear at night then. So I have that. And then the outfits that I'm planning to wear. I don't know which one I want to wear now. So I have these A Goldie jeans. And I, this is kind of inspired by Rosie Huntington Whitley. I saw her wear an inspired look like this like last week. So I kind of like did like kind of something that she would wear. So has a little sweater. And then this is in a Nina Bean blazer. So I have the, so it's like a nice contrast of the gray with the blazer. Gray pants. And then I would wear it with the Bottega Veneta, Bottega Veneta Jody. And I would probably wear them with these boots. So I'll either wear that right now. I have my pearls in here. And then, oh, and then I would wear it with this belt. This is a new belt that I got that I haven't showed you guys. Uh, is a Givenchy. I don't know how I feel about it because I feel like it's a little too gaudy, but I always kind of tuck it over, so I feel like it'd be fine. And it is part of the newer Givenchy because it's in the newer dust bag. And then the other outfit, and this is my Romova luggage. I love it so much. And then this is I have uh, my makeup bits and bops in there. Put that right there. I have another pair of sunglasses. Um, shoes that I brought were. These ones and my golden gooses, which are the newer ones that I got. And then I also, I don't know if I showed this to you, but I bought this Isabel Moran jacket. And I actually am really obsessed with it. Normally, I would not buy a jacket, but I've just been photographed and seen in so many of them. So I decided to invest in kind of like a premium one. And so I got this Isabel Moran one. And I actually really like it. So I could either wear that and I could wear this mother jeans that are kind of like an off black color. And then I have this simple top from the row. I got this like a couple days ago. I was actually gonna bring my row bag, but I felt like the Bottega was gonna be a little bit more versatile. If I said like another day, like two nights, I would have brought it, but um, yeah. So I could either wear this outfit with the Golden Goose sneakers, and if it gets cold, I can throw in a beanie, some makeup brushes right over here. That's how I normally do it, is I'll put like all like the clothes that I'm no longer wearing here. So I'll probably leave it like that. And I'm gonna transfer this here and I'll kind of have everything laying right here because I know where everything is at. But yeah, um, I don't know which I'm gonna be wearing. Kind of leaning towards this one, but I'd rather wear the blazer tonight. But what I like about my wardrobe is that everything mixes and matches. I can wear sneakers, boots with this outfit. I can change the jacket for the Nina Bean blazer. I can change this white uh, top for the one that I'm wearing now or the cashmere halogen one. So I like that my wardrobe, everything is very versatile and I can kind of pick and choose what I want to wear. Okay, guys, my bannier. I change outfit. We are here. We're going to go to TJ Maxx. Um, I'm assuming that this one's going to be a runway just because it's right outside the Houston Galleria. So I'm excited to go and then we're going to go to North Mac. And then I'm going to this place I think called like Turkey Leg. I'm not really sure. Everybody recommended me to go there and like literally one, the one person that I asked like personally before I posted it, where should I go? They said there. So I'm TJ Maxx and see what we can find, guys. Okay. Yeah, Every square is 350. I think that's a little priced. A little bit more, and they have a few more, but they do have them for 350. I think that's a little overpriced, in my opinion. Let's see what this runway looks like. Let's see what runway is made out of, because this is the real key. I'm mean, gonna have so many long shot bags. Literally $80. $100, the ones that are 145 Oh my god, they have so many long shot bags. 
like I have red for 80, this one's 100, bet you this one's 100. Got this little baby green one, this one's $70. They have so much long shops, even the classic ones. They have that, I think it's called the LNG print. That one's on sale. This navy one, the one that I found on another TJ Maxx for $48. This one right here as well. One and a yellow one, like some Eileen Fisher. Some 218 to 40, that's 80%. Oh, they have some Veronica Beard, 50 bucks from 250. Burberry sweater, and it is. It is $3.99. That's a little pricey for a Burberry sweater, but this feels very soft and it feels very good. But then they have this Burberry sweater. They have a Saint Laurent jacket. I have never seen Saint Laurent at TJ Maxx. And they have one here, Saint Laurent hoodie. $800. And it's like, no sense it's not wired down. In Dallas, this would have been wired down, but... Saint Laurent hoodie gourmet style, eight hundred dollars. That's insane. A little Lafayette moment, fifty dollars. Shrimp, a hundred. Little red moment. Finally, we're gonna find good stuff. They like you know the merchandise is here for sure. This little Lafayette sweater, size small, four twenty eight. It's fifty bucks. Another Lafayette, four hundred, and it's fifty bucks. It's like kind of a dress with a big cow neck on it. Theory little jacket, $100. I want to see what this jacket is. Oh, it's Burberry. They have a Burberry denim jacket for $350. It is so cute. I thought it was Clay Birch at first because I saw the T, but it's actually Thomas Burberry. But it's a little bit of the stitching to me in class. But it is so freaking cute. And our tops, sixty dollars. We have this little detail right here. This little theory striped one, fifty. I mean, they have good stuff. It's a hack that I do sometimes in certain you know, when I'm in a, a store that I've never been to before or location like that. The top in a size 10 for $100. This is really pretty. I love the color. I love the detail. It has a good weight to it. Yeah, gray tank top knit. 39 from 228 Another Lafayette top for $40. This is in a size 24 Birch plastic with the little buttons on it. I actually like this combo. It's $80. I know this one probably retail for $228. Yeah, there you go. I already knew it. Another one, eighty dollars from three forty-eight. And this ALC top for eighty. They have a little Balenciaga pouch. They have a Chloe Daryl bag, Balenciaga shopper bag. They have quite a bit of stuff in here. They're coming through. They're not playing games. They have some Veronica beard blazers. These are all. Um, one thirty. Some Lafayette jackets from seven hundred dollars are here for eighty bucks, and they have an XL and an XXL in the case. Oh, they have a they have a Gucci belt. Two Fendi pouches, and that's current Fendi too, and it's six hundred dollars. Let's look at that Gucci belt right there. Oh, right here. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. That's it. I don't A classic Veronica Beauty for 25 in a size small. They have a 25. I'm actually gonna text my friend if she wants them. But they have the gray and the classic black tees for 25. Bit of a uh, well, they have some Stella McCartney jeans for 350 and they have the little Stella McCartney belt with them. They have Lafayette tops for 30 bucks. Literally Lafayette. And this is new Lafayette too. It's 
Guys, this is a new lock I got. This crochet top, Vince. Sixty dollar yet jacket, which is for four hundred. It's just for eighty bucks, and they have Veronica Beard blazers. I have been seeing a lot more Veronica Beard at TJ Maxx, and they have this yellow one. And then this leg box one for one thirty. TJ Maxx actually has like a lot of good stuff. These little Sandro tops, all eighty bucks, a little bit pricey. Oh my god, I didn't even notice they have Fendi belts. These ones are four twenty nine. I actually kind of like the Givenchy belt that I'm wearing today. I'll show it to you in a second. And then, and this little Balenciaga with the chain. So long shot bag. Thomas Burberry with the blue. They have this bag here. They have a little Fendi embossed moment. And another Fendi moment. And sort of camera bag. And this baby long shot right here. But they do have quite a bit of handbags here. I mean, they're a little overpriced, but I do like the selection. I actually like that baby long shot. And I don't really mind this um, Balenciaga crack moment. Yeah, they have so much Lafayette. Like, you want a yellow moment, you want a pink moment. They have them in all the lime green, you want a beard moment. They have, they got you. All the colors you want, they have it. This is from last year's collection, I believe. Yeah, last year's collection, Tory Burch. And they have the little tunics here. And they have them with this um, Derek Lamb trouser. Super cute. These Veronica Beard dresses are 150 each. Super cute, love the material on them. These crafty ALC trousers, and these are all gonna be 100, which in my opinion, they should have all been 60. But yeah. But the thing was with all these Lafayette is they're a little bit more on the traditional sizing. Um, and so a lot of the fits aren't like high-waisted, so they're not like the most flattering fits. They have a lot of these Vince Silk tops here. These ones are $80. Monica Beer Blazers, ALC for $80. That's actually a really great deal. I actually really like it. It's like a nice sheen too. It's actually my size, but I would have, old me would have bought me a little Lafayette. Like if you're looking for Lafayette, well this Houston rack, this Houston TJ Maxx has it all. Go, Madame Lafayette is here. These are like these traditional sized ones. Oh, but these are 80. But they're so freaking nice. Like these AOC, if they're I feel about them. You kinda wanna try them on. Oh, sure. Corduroy hoodie, 80. Rachel Clooney, oh my god, 150. This is such a moment. And these theory moments I have it all here. Veronica Beard, yellow 150. This tweed one is 129. Oh my god, they have these really pretty Lafayette ones for $80 from $700, and they have three of them, 8, 14, and 10. These little Eileen Fisher dresses are $40. So many coats. You guys know I'm a, always a big sucker for coats. Oh my god, look at this beautiful Stella McCartney. She's $1,200, which is insane. So beautiful. Ugh. So nice. Moschino, $300 moments. Not for me, but she's cute or whatever. Little jeans, $180. Little furry moment. Dimash trenches. They have a Burberry trench in here. They're $800. They're more like of a nudie. Like, they're not like a caustic camel color. Which I kind of don't like, but it is new there with the Burberry. I wonder how Burberry is doing because I've been seeing Burberry off price all the time. This jacket looks like it's a great deal. I don't even know who makes you. But you're, oh, you're $800. To me, why I thought it said $799. It said $79.99. I said, you look like very luxurious for, to be $80, but it's actually $800. She's so cute though, but she's missing her belt though.
but I'm gonna turn them on. I actually own this blazer. This blazer I wore to Kim's baby shower last year is actually the same size, which is weird. I forgot that I own this blazer, but um, yeah, I like this brand Porto. This is the one that I wore last year, but obviously I think I paid maybe like 150. Look, they have St. John, like old St. John. This is from like 25 years ago. And they literally returned it, as you can see. It's crazy. I have a bunch of like little toy books ready to wear, like a lot of it. All these are kind of prints from like the last couple seasons, which I feel like you can still wear Here for this. 348 is 50 bucks, a little yellow moment. Yes, and we love this little yellow color. I will say Lafayette does do very nice colors. But this is Love On, but it's not. It's this brand, 550. And it's very, very soft cashmere. So Oh, they have more runway over here. I need some cute white fun shorts, but all these are mostly skirts, and if they're shorts, they're something like this. I don't really want to wear something like that. Yeah, a lot of Veronica Beard pieces. 60 bucks, love it. This Veronica Beard would look really pretty as a trouser or pant. No, but it's not. Remind me of Seven Pro Mankind jeans. Remember the Seven Pro Mankind jeans? The ones that have like the big obnoxious pockets in the back? This is like Troy Birch, like look at it. It reminds me of that. They look like vintage jeans. I think that's so cool. I just wanted to show it to you. Retails for two twenty eight. I found this Veronica Beard top. I can I like it because you know I I love simple pieces. Something like this with the it lace. But then I don't remember. I think I actually bought this when it came out. But it's weird because one says oh no they will say forty. Tell me why I thought this was fifty. It's kind of cute though. I love the sleeves. But this one was long a little bit over here. I think I'm just gonna take the trousers. I'm gonna see if I can make them work. I mean, they're actually really nice though. Like they look like they're gonna fit impeccable. I mean, I will say ALC tailoring like on their clothes fits really great, and it's really hard for me to find black trousers. I'm getting my Vince trouser, my Bottega trouser, getting uh, fitted right now. Mood Steinmar, TJ Maxx, Gail. So I don't know. Do people still yet say that? So and I feel like I could get these ones and make them. Because I got the last two like a little bit more drapey, but I also love me a good crop. So I feel like this would be a really great crop trouser. Now. I kind of like it. I've been losing weight, so everything's been fitting a little bit better. I will say that the jeans, I should have brought more of a high rise this color. Because it looks makes me look a little bit more smaller. But I do like the Givenchy belt. Little Bottega keys. Putting a bean blazer. Yeah, I feel like I would have, I should have worn different denim. But now that I have these tailored, I can wear these next time. But I will say, these jeans in general, I feel like make me look a little, like, shorter than what I am. Which is a good or a bad thing, because some people like me when I'm, like, when I appear shorter. Some people when I like when I appear taller. But I don't, I think I'm going to get rid of them. <laughs> I think they are probably not the most flattering denim. Because they also kind of stop at a weird angle. So they kind of show, like, a little bit. So they fit me perfectly. Like, they're a goldie. They're probably, like, even, like, a little loose, if anything, because I'm tucking it in. So I have extra fabric. But I think I'm going to switch them out. Hopefully, I don't find a lot of good stuff here because um, Queer the Rack literally starts in two days. So I could have gotten an extra 25, but when you're here, you have to like, go and check it out. That bag is so cute. Oh, <laughs> little beauty thing. It's like, it's so cute. Like, it looks like a little shop. They have light. You can kind of shop it. So the beauty is like a little bit more highlighted, it looks a little bit more elevated, it looks like Target. I'm kind of here for them, none of the ones over there have that. Let's look at some of the clothing in the designer section, which you guys know that's my favorite part. Tons of Schooler 109. Little cute pink color. Sheer lace moment. There's not really a lot of good stuff. I think I'm gonna borrow this for one of my friends. I have this, that's um, these are full price. These are new style. I was literally looking at them today. They're one in the eight. I wonder if they're like less. I think I'm gonna ask if they're the quarter reasons a little bit less. If they are, I think I'm gonna buy them. But I would not buy them for one in the eight, like the same price as here, but it's worth it's worth um, asking, right? She said they were a transfer, but I don't know how they're a transfer. They're still full price, but yeah, they're one in the eight. 
And then they have these um, Alexander Wang suits for $200. Actually, I think I'm gonna try them on. I just talked to my friends and they all said I need to buy them, that they're actually a look. But we can play with outfits and see how they look like. But they're kind of, they're comfortable. 40, comfortable. I like that I can adjust the zipper. They would have been 150 to be the rack, but I'm not gonna be here, so. They are a moment though. Like for my traditional boot. They elongate my foot. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna do this. My friend told me not to get not to get that, to just get the shoes. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the shoes. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and leave. I think I'm gonna skip through men's shoes. If not, I think I'm about to leave. They didn't really have like a lot of good stuff here. Okay guys, so I ended up getting the boots. We'll see. All my friends are like, Sergio, you need to buy them. And then we need to all come over and drink wine and then uh, we need the outfit inspiration for these boots. I don't know what I'm supposed to, we'll see, we'll see. Okay guys, I'm normally not the type of person to ever wait, but I think this is gonna be worth it. I waited like 40 minutes, so it seems this is gonna be good. Oh my God, so, so, so excited to a comer. Like you have no idea, I haven't eaten all day and I finally get to eat. Let's see how, what this is about. I want to get, try a little bit of everything, the appetizer, the corn, I love it. I will come here again. Okay guys, it's the next morning. I'm about to check out of here in the next 30 minutes. So I wanted to show you up close the shoes um, that are Alexander Wang. I think that they are absolutely beautiful. Um, we shall see how styled them. Currently right now, uh, <laughs> there, I saw all these crazy videos of the traffic and everything. And I drive a small car, so hopefully guys, but if I post this, that means I made it all live and I know I am. But I drive very, very careful on the way back home. If it gets bad, I may stop at an uh, like at a other hotel and just kind of call it a day. But these are the boots. They have the A. Um, now that I have them here, I'm kind of like, I like them. But I want to style them a little home. That's how I usually am when I'm very iffy about items. I usually buy them and then I'm iffy. But they were $197.97. They're a refurbished, so you can see the sole here was like painted on because somebody wore them. They have the Alexander Wing. Um, and I like them. I think they're cute. They're a little moment. For me, what I like is the heel. <laughs> I think it's definitely give me like six one vibes. Like I said, about five eleven and a half. Some if I wear like a heel, like a booty like this, like yesterday, I'm about six foot. But you know, it, it usually depends. Um when people ask me if I'm five eleven or six foot, I usually say six and taconcito. So I love them. I love the little zipper, they kinda remind me of denim. I love denim. And I love little square toe with the distinctive, I know it's like black on black stitching, but I actually really like them. And they seem to be pretty comfortable, but I wanna walk around um, actually like the flooring on, in my apartment and see how they feel. And I also got these AOC trousers. What I like is the pleating. I think for me, that's what I like most about them. I'm um, actually, actually, let me go ahead and try these on for you. I feel like they're gonna fit really well. And they retail for 400 size eight. And these ones were past season. So let me try them on for you guys. The lighting's not the best, but actually they fit. I thought I would have to get, I didn't even know that they were gonna be a crop fit. Literally me queda la medida. They're buttoned up. I still have a little bit of space left, the zipper. And these actually seem like pretty good quality. Like, I'm sorry, I feel like the Vince ones quality has changed a lot. And I actually like them. I love like they give me that traditional with the pleats, but I can wear this with, with the button up. So, oh yeah, I probably will wear these tomorrow. No, I actually really like them. So this is gonna be a keeper. I had a feeling, for whatever reason, I thought they were long, maybe because I had to get the other two adjusted. I just assumed, but no me queda la medida. These ones are gonna be a keeper. Oh my God. And yeah, guys, I know the lighting's really off. Actually, I'm gonna go into the restroom. Okay guys, pardon the mess in here, but this is the row from the top. I'm about to, I think I'm gonna uh, iron it so it's not as wrinkly. This is the Isabel Morant jacket. These are the mother jeans. They're like a faded black and I like the way the back and they fit. And then I'm wearing my golden gooses. It is raining outside, so hopefully it's all up in. Uh, but yeah, I'm about to, hey guys, I'm about to pack up and I'm about to, I think I'm gonna go to the breakfast club because I do wanna make it back home. Kind of like, I wanna be in the road once the, before the sun starts setting or like light is gone. There's been a lot of accidents going on. I drive super careful. I have to go to Target to buy an umbrella as well. 
Um, but yeah, I'm gonna end the first vlog here. My Houston traveling, we went to Houston Galleria, we went to TJ Maxx, we went to North Mac, and you went to dinner with me, you kind of spent the day with me. Thank you, thank you so much for watching this video. I'll leave basically all the outfits that I wore down below, like the jacket, the top, the bottoms, everything. And then the things that I bought, I'll try to see if I can find the link for the pants. They actually fit really well. And I'm actually really happy because I, I, now I don't have to, they're like $80, right? Yes, that's a good deal from, from $400. But you have to keep in mind, they didn't fit at the bottom. I would have to pay like $50 or $60 to get them tailored. It makes the pants like $140 or 130 or whatever and then it brings the cost up of the item so now i'm happy with the 85 86 dollars i spent with tax perfect love the trousers now i have three black trousers don't need any more on the ankle and the other two are going to fit a little bit longer so they look better with booty i love everything in the hall i love the pants i, I, I like the boots i'm going to style them i like the little birado minis that i got I like the, oh, I also bought a Chanel foundation too. I forgot to tell you about that. I'm gonna show that to you right now to pick it up. It's the Lee Beiges. I think I tried it on, well, maybe I, I stole mine from my mom. Like, I think I tried it out one time about the same skin tone. And so I got this one in the color medium. And then the lady was really nice and she also gave me some samples. And I got the little um, raffle and little baby set for my friends, her daughter's first birthday. So I like everything. Thank you so much for joining me on this Sergio Secret vlog. I love my time here in Houston, even though it was only kind of like a one day trip. Um, it's just I'm always super busy and I'm always, always, always the type of girl that's always on the go. But hopefully I, ha I can come back here in March or April. But I will say I like the pace of Houston. It's a very fast pace and I prefer Houston over San Antonio or Austin. Please don't hate me. I feel like they're more relaxed. This is fast paced but not as fast as Houston. I feel like Houston's like, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. And I really, really love that. So I definitely see myself coming back within the next 60 days. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on part two, which is going to be the outlet shopping vlogs. So stay tuned for that video. If this video goes out today, tomorrow would be the outlet vlogs, because I'm going to put them back to back.